Welcome to part one of the new Lord of the Rings Return to Moria, an eight player co-op game that I will be playing solo. We can make bases, mine and rebuild Moria to its former glory in a Tolkien inspired tale. But I am quite shocked that nobody Literally, no one is talking about this game because I really want to see it do well. So if you just take a moment just to drop a like on the video, even leave a comment because that just helps push the video in the algorithm out to other people that have clearly never heard about this game because no one is talking about it and I want to see it be popular. And as you're about to see for yourself, it's pretty damn fun. Let me show you what I'm talking about. I'm going to put the brightness up so you guys can see on YouTube and then we can begin our return to Moria. Our story is more than what hobbits and elves know. It is time we told it ourselves. That's Gimli, isn't it? Actually the voice actor. Okay, this looks stunning. Getting invited to Hogwarts. With hammer and axe, we cleanse the world from the shadow of the ring and its master. Yet we dwarves celebrate as a scattered people, cut off from our one true home. Across Middle-earth, we mine and sculpt, delving for riches, yet the greatest treasure remains out of our reach. Moria. Dorin built it before the first sun rose, and through the ages, when darkness threatened our great kingdom, he awoke to lead us again. Until the Balrog took it all away. That was a thousand years ago. And Durin, Durin the Deathless has not returned. Some say, be patient. I say, we wait no longer. It is time to journey from every mountain. Come, rally together. Bring your axes and tools, craft and courage. It is time we dwarves return to Moria. Oh, what an epic intro. And I love the storyline already. Really simple, but it works. A reason for dwarfs to come together. Couldn't think of a better one myself. I'm going to put the brightness up so you guys can see on YouTube. Now the best test of any character creation is just to smash the randomized button and see what you come out with. See what we can make here. There's a bunch of fine looking dwarfs, I must say. It's going to be a lot of variation in the characters. Oh my god, some of them are just horrific. Everyone has a beard, pretty much, which is good to see. There are some beardless ones, but they still have chops. So yeah, a real variety of what we can actually create here, which is fantastic. Stop that at once. Stop it. I'm trying to create you. You can't choose male or female, but what they've done, like this is a female and she has a beard. That's what Tolkien said. No beard, I guess, is an option. He didn't specify whether females had beards or not, but it's an interesting. I think that's the best way they could have done it, to be honest. But man, we want to be a gnarly looking dwarf. Look at this guy. He's seen the Balrog. He's looked it in the eye. The white dwarf. Oh, we have tattoos as well. Do I have any scars? Yes. Oh, wait, a mountain wildcat. So they've actually named where the scars are from. This is a barbarel or a pickaxe to the face, a goblin pike or a tree branch. <laughs> oh, I love it. A hidden door. Uh, and then shoulders. Do I want low shoulders or high shoulders? Constantly like this. And then my chest. Boom. The bust. Oh my God. Belly. In, out, in, out. No, my dwarf has got to be full on bellified. My waist, tight or loose? My bowels are going to be pretty loose with all the pies my dwarf has been eating. Personality, am I focused? Grim and grumpy sounds good. Let's go. Oh God, no, don't, we're not. That's way too excitable. I've got to be grumpy. Oh, what voices? Why is he so high pitched? The mountain smiles on us today. An orc stronghold. <laughs> I feel like we've just got to have that. An orc stronghold. Just like the most uncharacteristic voice for his appearance. Zeal 
Arab da irazu. You can speak in Kazadol. They've actually put in Tolkien's languages. It is hilarious having no idea what he's saying throughout the gameplay. Dark stronghold. I'm just going to have him being really high pitched. Okay, now we can choose his origin because obviously all of these dwarfs came from the different mountain ranges of Middle Earth. The Iron Hill. We actually saw these in the Hobbit movie. East of Erebor, the Iron Hills have long been a refuge for dwarves. Though not as prosperous as other kingdoms, the lords of the Iron Hills are kin with the king under the mountain. Not even heard of these guys. The Blue Mountains have heard of them. The Red Mountains or the Lonely Mountains. Erebor remains both the seat of the king under the mountain and the current home of the king of Durin's folk. The Lonely Mountain continues to thrive in the Fourth Age, helping to rebuild parts of Gondor and the Hornburg. I think I'm going to be an Iron Hill Dwarf. All right, let's save. And what are we going to name this dwarf? Uh, duh. Let's call him we my wee boy Gimli. So now we can make our own world or join another one. Let's make our own one. World seed. This is my seed. Let's press randomize a few times. So it's a bit like Minecraft in that the game world is randomly generated and your playthrough will be very different to mine. My wee boy's world. <laughs> I want to play solo starting out. Yes, dwarves from every clan have answered your call, despite the king under the mountain's objection. Lord Gimli, Erebor will not support entering the Black Pit. If the king wants to stop us, he can come himself. Every attempt you've made has failed. This is a sign. No signs or kings are going to stop us. This is the time to reclaim Khazad Dum. Today, we get into that mountain. Any luck? No, won't budge. Did you try speaking friend? Now, why didn't I think of that before? You did your best. On to plan B. Ah, finally. Plan B? Is that blasting fire? I'd stand back if I were you. This is madness. Dimly, you can't. We have to wait for Durin. Durin's not here. We have to do this ourselves. Maybe this will wake him up. Limin Barak, Limin Tagaz, Kazad Dashtin. Oh no, Lord Gimli, this is another sign. Oh, hammer of tongues. It's the fourth age. Nothing is going to stop us. You heard Lord Gimli? Let's go. I'm just Pack carrying. it in. Yes, nice and tight. Come on, help him out. They changed the parcel on that door. The snakers. Oh my god. They just abandoned me. I just died. Oh, damn. So I've just got to start reclaiming Moria on my own. Oh, that was no normal dwarf blast. <laughs> Amazing. <laughs> the most threatening grizzly dwarf you've ever seen. I've got to gather some wood. How do I get wood? Do I just... Oh, can I punch it? Here's some bits of wood. Punching it like in Minecraft doesn't work. I appreciate the logic. So now we can press C to craft and we can make ourselves a torch. And if I press 2, I can equip my torch. Look at that. Beautiful. Oh, look at that little dwarf jump. Oh, it's so cute. Can I climb up here? Ah, oh, we got to climb up. Nice. I'm just going to collect all these wood scraps. I'm sure they'll come in handy later. Yay! There must be a way back to camp. Oh, could try the doors of Dorin from the inside. Let's get going. Oh, I've already found treasure. I can now make a simple metal pickaxe. And because I'm a dwarf, I can just put it together with my bare hands. Looks more like um, a farming equipment, doesn't it? Let's put this in slot. And now I've got my pickaxe and light out. Oh, one sec. I can add fuel to make these burn. While holding a pickaxe, press... 
I'm going to start mining. Oh, hello. There we go. Look at that. That's actually really nice. So you can physically carve your way through. The mining's nice and fast. Like, it feels like I'm actually making progress. It's all third person, I assume. Better get some mushrooms. Oh, I can make mushroom stew. Oh, I love survival games, man. This is going to be dope. Lord of the Rings themed survival game. Even some cloth here. I can now craft an improvised axe. Well, let's go and craft that. I've got my axe out now. I can also block. Dwarf remain. Press E to honor before looting the dead. Hero's token times one. Eating some shrooms. And that slowly fills up our hunger bar there at the bottom. We also have a hero spirits bar. I wonder what that is. A raven of Erebor. How, why are you, how are you down here? It's a massive ass raven. Maybe it's just I'm, I'm small, I guess. That's like the fire, so he's happy. Are you from our camp? Uh, thank the winds. Uh, I am Arik, son of Arak. Yours is the only friendly face here. What's happened to the rest of camp? Uh, I cannot tell. Uh, uh, a curse. Ill curse. It blocks me. Oh, could you search for another way out? For any other survivors? Uh, I will search. You go east. See what you can find. I will fly to you when I can. Oh, where's he where's he flying off to? Where are you going, mate? There's no there's no way out there. Oh, he's gone into a puff of smoke. He's hacking. So we have to gather supplies and seek the gate. All right, then let's go ahead and carry on mining our way forward. I don't know how exciting this looks, but it genuinely feels satisfying to mine. Like more so than Minecraft, you know, because like the actual cave I'm digging is just this beautiful dwarf sized hole that is, it's, it's more circular. It looks more natural. I have to parkour. Ah, no, that was not the way. Okay, I thought I was gonna die. Press V to build a platform. Ah, come on, you fat boy. You fat wee boy, get up there. Look at him go. Yay. Can I smash the pots? I can. Oh, and this also gives me something. Mint seeds. Oh, can you grow things down here? Let's go. Let me in. Ha. Ah. So where are we going to go now? Oh my God, there's a blimmin' portal here. Can I smash these? There seems to be tons of stuff hidden in these barrels, so definitely recommend smashing those. Oh my god, the doors of Durin. Why has this guy got a massive skull? Doors of Durin. Huh, what's wrong with it? It's been cursed. I've never seen runes with such shadow. <sighs> no wonder we couldn't get it open from the other side. The doors of Durin are cursed. Someone or something has, has gouged a cursed rune into the inside of the gate. This is why Gimli's company couldn't get the doors of Durin open from the other side. Evil shadow exudes from it. Could this be why there are piles of dead orcs? Oh, so you can actually grow things with the mint seed. Wow, we found our way back, but now we know we're traps here. Oh, this is a strong table, clearly built by a dwarf. But man, someone was barricading this and trying to survive. Sign of the fellowship? The fellowship was here. I found a wee set of Shire made travel plates and forks. These must have been left behind by one of Lord Gimli's hobbit companions, perhaps while resting after the Watcher trapped them inside Moria. I must be on the same path as Gandalf and Gimli. Oh boy, you know what that means. A very good omen. They made it out and so can we. I wonder how many of these like lore Easter eggs are scattered around. Excited to find out. Wolves, track them down. Oh, I can roll. Yet, fool! Orc Town needs to prepare. <laughs> then we feast on dwarf flesh. Wait for my signal. Orcs survived. It was too much to hope that the Orcs of Moria marched to war and never returned. They either survived or never left. How many orcs still plague these mountains is uncertain, but there is enough that they have an orc town. I overheard them planning to watch me. I need to keep my weapons at the ready. Let's go and take out this rat. 
Holy moly, my slow-mo jump makes me feel like I'm going to fall to my death. Arik, what news? Uh, there's no way west. No way out. Oh, I did not think we would see shadow cursed runes in Moria. Our path, then, must go east. Uh, long journey. You must prepare. Up here. Oh, You're right. It's time to find shelter before making our way further. I will scout ahead. Stay alive. With luck, we'll exit the Dimrel Gate. For now, we must face the long dark of Moria. Oh, mate, don't don't lie. You love you love a dark area. Rebuild brew tank, mate. All I need is some beer, and my morale will be through the roof. So this is a an old camp. Ori's records. I found a parchment in an elvish hand. Durin's day. Balin has sent five of us to establish outposts in the far corners of Moria. Here we begin our search. We we'll search for what? Interesting. That's like another storyline that we might find elves here then. I'm establishing the camp, guys. What is this secret little chest here? Unlock Ori's key. A dwarven chest! Ho -ho! Let's get you open. See what you're keeping secret. A ruined map stone. Oh, this is going to reveal the map area, I assume, because currently we have nothing revealed. Oh, we can rebuild this because we have stone. So it was worth me mining that stone up there. So now we have a furnace. We can clean up this mess that you call a camp. The darkness of night falls. Is that a bad thing or not? Better get the hearth set up. Aha, there we go. Now we can actually craft ourselves some food. Roasted meats. We don't have enough meat for that. But we do have a hell of a lot of mushrooms and we can make ourselves a mushroom stew. Okay, so let's just stack as many of these as we can and then it'll just continue to cook through them. Hopefully this game doesn't have burn mechanics. And meanwhile, I'm going to get some more stone. Because you know what we need as dwarfs? More stone. So now we can actually use the furnace to craft ingots, but we need iron ore. And sure enough, if we look outside, the game's actually marked on our map an iron ore vein. I'm gonna get him with a pickaxe. Die. I need a better weapon for this. No, I don't. I'm gonna kill him with my pickaxe. I don't care. We actually do need more meat, but for now, let's mine some iron ore. Inspiration strike. Start singing. Scared across my camp, a terrible they'd have she. If a spider skidded across my camp, a terrible they'd have she. I'm a feisty fool with an empty fork, and if she would not flee, she would wind up caught in an eight leg knot. Spider for dinner for me. I've accidentally turned into a female when I sing, but at least I'm an inspired one. Look how much iron there is here. Oh my god, there's a secret passage. It's raining iron. We must deplete the iron ore vein. Okay, there we go. I've mined this whole area of iron. Get back here, you silly rat. I'm coming for you. I got my axe. Look at him. You've cornered yourself now. Oh, has he? He's leading me on a quest. Get back here. I've got no stamina. We can kill him anyway. All right, we're carrying so much. I really need uh, somewhere to store all this stuff. Oh my god, look at this. Someone's prepared this. There must be a secret servant. I'm almost starving, so it's pretty helpful. Oh, and it heals me as well. Hopefully it doesn't go off because uh, it's pretty useful. But we need to build another storage area. As much iron as we can. What else can I build? I can make a bed roll, put it right next to the hearth. Oh, I can make a wood pallet and stone pallet and an iron ore pallet, which I think is uh, pretty essential. Let's put that just here. Put the wood pallets here. There we go. Wall torch here. Fantastic, my house is coming together. Now we can go ahead and claim this bedroll and rest for the night. Dark, damp, and dangerous. I can hear goblins. So apparently we need to cook and eat. Let's go ahead and cook a roast meat mill like the game wants me to. The game thinks that the mill table needs to be cleared completely before I can cook again. So I must eat absolutely everything on the table and then I can cook again. That's a bit weird. So let's cook ourselves the beef stew. And then apparently we need to eat that as well. 
A true dwarf has 18 mushroom soups followed by a beef stew for breakfast in the morning. Let's eat that then. Okay, the game is happy now. I've had a good breakfast. Oh my god, you can also make wood and stone floor tiles, door types as well as windows, and different barrier types, stone columns, ladders. So I could actually like fill in this stone wall here and add a door like this. Oh my god, I've been scammed. There's a door tile. Forget it, I'll just have an open door. How miserable. <laughs> I failed as a dwarf. So now I need to gather iron and use the forge to create a key. All right, so we've got enough iron ingots from our furnace to rebuild the forge. And then we can actually craft Ori's key because I remember exactly how it looks. Either way, now we can open his chest. What's inside? Coin, iron ingot, and more coal. Oh, I can also make an iron hill shield and an iron sword. Every young dwarf is taught how to forge, wield, and sled on one. <laughs> is that specific to my background? And in here, we have Ori's journal. We've not yet been able to find any fragments of Doran's axe in Westgate, though it's said to be placed here. It has been an age since a dwarf last walked these halls in search with only a glint of hope that the fragments remain where the tomes of old claim. So we need to go and search the West Gate. Die. 22 damage. Nice. Direct. Can I actually block? Oh, I can block. So now we have all these hide scraps. We can actually craft ourselves um, a shield. One-handed swords are quick and agile and ideal against multiple enemies. Oh, yeah, that's sick. And then we're ready to go back out. Oh. All right, buddy. Oh, he's actually... Come on, then. Oh, yeah, we can bash him down. Just beat the heck out of him. Oh, he's pretty strong. Yeah, let's be careful here. This is great for multiple enemies. Recharge attack? Oh, 50 damage. Okay, this is banging. Oh, I missed. Can you parry? Charge attack. Nice. 31 damage. It's much more effective to um, charge charge your attack because you do like quadruple the damage. Okay, let's grab some meat. Really enjoying this game so far. Like, there's enough of an objective so far to really keep me entertained and interested. I imagine it would go a hell of a lot faster if I had like multiple people playing the game with me. I'm going to go down here anyway because that's my objective before we go and find the relic. Because all this whole area is like RNG generated as well. So I'm kind of interested to see what that means for the gameplay. It's a bunch of rats. What's this red door? Oh, I can damage the door. Is that like a pub in here? Let me in. I want to drink beer with you. Ha ha ha. Oh my god, it's actually a pub. There's a mug of brew. Oh, I have it. A mug of ale. Hold to drink. Oh my god, I'm so happy. Drink. Poor little Baggins sat for tea, stuffy as a hobbit could be. When the bell it rang, and what did he see? Two hundred guests awaiting for he. They hung right up the hoods they wore, but told him not that there'd be more. They poured the milk on the pantry floor when Billy and Killy came knocking at Bilbo's door. Hell yeah. Whoever, whoever wrote these, um these songs very well done to you you clearly understand tolkien what is this place though? there's just a bunch of rubble and stuff here and it's dark but i'm high in spirits because i'm absolutely smashed so that's how that works obviously oh there's some goblins let's get them come on in they're hiding what the hell why are they running away ori's carving a small figure depicting a member of a dwarf family all right let's carry on past this pub see what we discover through another wall there is nothing impassable to a dwarf let me through stupid wall gate to Doran's highway hello Arik these shadow vents are almost as bad as those cursed runes evil curses evil ah. highway blocks ah. Must find another way east. 
Maybe we can get into the old mines. Find the way back onto Doran's highway from there. Ah! Mines are close. Dig through. Find where to dig through. All right. I'll find the right spot to dig a shortcut to the mines. Let's catch up again in there, friend. Ah! In the mines. Ah! Never heard someone so excited to go to the mines. So I currently have a shadow curse, which has half killed me. Ah! Ah! Jesus! Where did you come from? Come on, Em. Oh, okay. It actually jumps to your target, which is nice. Let's take that guy out, and then I need my stamina to regen here. Come on, then. Get Rex on. Decimate them. I take the same damage whether they're on the floor or not. I really need to make some metal armor, though. Oh, this is what I need. A tasty piece of meat. There's just wood. Oh, there is some meat there. What's up here? I can see like a gold line. A wizard's mark. Translate. I speak wizard. Shadow in Moria. Evil shadow plagues this area. A wizard searches for Tharin. These are the markings of the wizard Tharakon. So that is Gan Gandalf. Um, but the dwarves call him Tharakon, don't they? I'm going to need to make a bed soon and have a, have a little sleep. So this way forward is blocked. But there may be some other paths we can take. Camp Westgate under siege. You'll not kill this dwarf. Why is my house under siege? What's happening? What's going on? They're attacking my camp. I can't believe it. How dare you. Get out of my house. Oh, they can't get through. I don't even have a door. Luckily, they can't get through my non-existent door. That's very fortunate. You have to be a dwarf to enter. Luckily, they don't know the password is friend. Die. Oh, I'm gonna get the shield out. This is why. Oh my god, there's tons of them. Look at them, there's so many. I need to be careful. I'm, I'm pretty low. Combat is pretty easy. But it's fun. <laughs> okay, okay, here we go. Get back here, you silly gobbos. The siege has ended. They were no match for me and my open door. <laughs> All right, we'll just take a nap after that exertion. My axe is restless. Uh, well, I need some food now. Uh, hopefully I don't have to cook 20 mushroom soups. Next episode, we find the Elven Outpost, and it turns out goblins are definitely not the only enemy in this game. I'll link the next episode just here and in the description, but please do drop a like on the video if you enjoyed it. I genuinely like it. I think it's pretty good. I want to experience it in co-op.